Welcome. Welcome. The fresh air is overrated. The weekly source for anything gaming with wild map and curves. And Steiner. Again, Steiner. Yo, welcome to Fresh Air is Overrated. I am Wild Matt. I will be the lone wolf tonight, which is cool. I don't mind doing that, but all my settings are still set for two cameras. So uh, I don't know if I should do that on the fly or how I'm going to switch up all that stuff. But yeah, cool. I, you know, it shouldn't be that hard, actually. It's going to get interesting when I want to play videos because it usually works out when there's two people that can play the video on top. It just... It works out, but whatever. That's all good. So, hey, well, Matt, for sure is overrated. It's episode number 232. That's a lot of episodes. I don't know if you know that. Uh, we took a lot of breaks there, so that's why we've been we've been accumulating at a, a steady pace, but a slow one at the same time. It's It's been a weird one. Uh, so, yeah, there is that. So, Thursday, June 1st, 2017. It's Welcome to June. It's the first day. Megascorcher.com. Go check out that URL for our VODs and MP3s if you are searching for that rss feed or that precious rss feed uh, also known as a podcast you can get, just go look at our website and any posts uh, that contains fresh air will also have the rss feed and you can also just look it up on itunes and wherever else our podcasts are found you can also just f find us it's pretty easy fresh air is overrated you'll find us you can spell it with the dash which i know is wrong fresh air is over dash rated that's technically a whole word but, you know, it just makes more sense when you say Feor than Feo. I don't know. I, I like that R at the end of Feor. So it just, to me, that's why, that's why I put that hyphen at the end of, uh, that's why I make overrated hyphenated, but whatever, whatever. <laughs> and we're on YouTube, we're on Twitch, we're on a bunch of stuff. So there you go. Usually Steiner is here, but, you know, here I'll just, oh, damn, that's a sad screen right there. Sad screen, just darkness. All right. So we're going to go into uh, the games that we're playing. If I can find everything in my clutter here. There you go. I got it. And now here's what I need to figure out. I just need to, get, I guess, make my camera here bigger. You're going to see this. Some live producing. Usually I hide this behind the scenes when somebody is talking or something. But now I don't really have that luxury today. So I'm just here. Go here. Go. I'm going to make this full screen, and then hopefully that doesn't ruin anything. So let's go to games we're playing. It's in, it's in the middle, but that's all right. Usually, they're not supposed to be in the middle. All right, so games we're playing. I played Monster Truck Madness for the Game Boy Advance. There's a video on the YouTubes of me playing it. Actually, it's on the it's on Twitch. It's on Beam. It's uh, our Mixer. Uh, whatever archives, uh, live streams. Uh, totally did it. So, yeah, I, I played... That game, it's it's amazing how the 3D looks, and not not only how the 3D looks, because there's a lot of 3D that looks really good on the Game Boy Advance, but it just it's it's how the physics control, it's how the monster trucks control. Uh, some of the graphics are weird because the the scaling might look off, like like there's textures on the side of the track, and sometimes there's cars textured on the side, and they just look huge. They're like two times the size of your goddamn monster truck so it just makes it look like you're you're a tiny little monster truck maybe like an rc car or something anyways so yeah there you go hey that dude hack Wait, what's it going on so yeah uh play that uh i also recorded 007 nightfire i think yeah that's on the I, I uploaded that on the youtube right before doing the show and that's another Game Boy Advance game. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a 3D first-person shooter for the Game Boy Advance. So go check it out later if you're into Game Boy Advance games that have 3D into in them. Then I played Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. There was a demo. I went to, uh, was it Best Buy for just a little second in there? Just saw what they had. It's not too exciting. I, I almost bought one of those like 2D display pixel arts that lights up but man, it uses battery i wish that it, i wish that it just had an internal battery that you could just charge via usb but no you gotta buy double at uh, triple a batteries i wonder how long those things last because it, it can't be that well i had a, a cortana light uh, uh you, you laid you laid her on the pad and the, the pad lit up and 
that was a pretty cool thing and that used two triple a's and it, that that thing lasted a long time so yeah it was crash bandicoot insane trilogy is what i actually was talking about here and i played that it's crash bandicoot but it looks better it plays very similarly I, I couldn't tell the difference between the gameplay so eh, you know if you're into crash bandicoot and you're gonna be in insane trilogy if you want to check that out I, that's coming out maybe this month i don't remember it's june there's there's a lot of stuff coming out in june then i also saw somebody play everybody's golf they were they got into the closed beta i got kind of jealous because I, I applied for it but i didn't get in everybody's golf is hot shots golf for some re reason they're renaming it i i don't know I, I don't know what the hell, why they're renaming it to Everybody's Golf. Makes sense, because that's what it's called in Europe and Japan. But it's that's not what the hell... I want my Hot Shots Golf. Anyways, the chat... Yes, okay. I, I am not from the US. I am sorry, chat room. I am from Canada. That's close to the US. So yeah, uh, I also discovered in Winamp, you can make this your music stop when you get to the end of it it's it's hidden in the menus it's not like a an obvious thing i when i play the sounders on the show like when i started getting games or playing here i can start it again that sounder i used to right click or control something and then you could it would stop at the end of the song automatically but man now I could, it just stops by itself which is it's, it's totally cool but anyways uh, and then there's a new Foo Fighters. I guess that's not a video game, but I, I could talk about it. It's just that literally dropped this morning, and hey, it's pretty good. The video was kind of funny. It's just them being old people. There's boobies in it. Let's let's pretend that they're probably not real because I, I don't know. It, it is it, it is just YouTube and stuff. I don't know if, if they would play this on TV, and I guess if they would play it on TV, they would just blur it in anyways. So it, it's a pretty cool song as well. It's called Run Foo Fighters. Run just YouTube it. It it will come up. You just you can just YouTube Foo, Foo Fighters. It will be the first thing that comes up. All right. Let's talk about new releases. There's not too much to talk about uh, this week, to be honest. So uh, I'm just gonna make it a little bit more exciting by having a, a web page up because that's that's literally all I can do during this segment. Because there's not the the web page is gonna be more exciting than me talking about the games. So let me copy this link here and uh oh no oh i'm screwing it up already I'm screwing up the whole thing uh but yeah so i guess the most notable thing that came out this week is tekken tekken 7 for the ps4 xbox one and the pc it's just interestingly enough so if you're into fighting games it, they added like ultra moves and stuff so it's it's just it's weird so yeah also, yeah, I, I literally did an old school today. I was talking about it just now. 007 Nightfire. Go check it out. I it, it just uploaded today. I do plan on I, I always plan on doing a little bit more of it, so hey. So there you go. Yeah. What is going on here? Okay. I needed to do the website. That's right. Uh web page, URL, bam. And bring it up full screen so everybody can see. Yay, I got it. So where it's gonna be right here, is is it the right date? Oh man, where's the Tekken's? No, that's that's way earlier because there's not that much this week. There's really not that. Much. Oh, there's Tekken. So Tekken Seven, and then there's also Star Bridge, uh, Star Trek Bridge Crew. I, what's that? I don't know if that was released on the PC earlier, but that's coming out on the PSVR this week. Uh, but yeah, there's not that much coming out this week. So yeah. That's it. That's that's really it. There's Tekken Seven. Uh, that's it. If you're into me talking about wrestling, I, I do it during our wrestling slash MMA show coming up after Fresh Air is overrated, and then we might have the, the co-host here. He's I don't know what he's doing. He, you know, he has a family, so he, last second he couldn't make it. So that kind of sucks but he might be, he might make it for the mma show which is the thing that he's probably more interested in anyways because we both don't play the games as much as we used to oh hey and if you ever want to call in then you can do it via skype why not i'll just accept any callers why not it's on the screen right now we're gonna go to the gaming news of the week so 
we got the first news item here. It's pretty interesting. There's a gold PS4. Oh man, why did that happen? Why did why is that one up? Oh, you know why? Because mm, there's a counter on it. I wish you could just take off the timer. Just just never ch transition. Never let uh, like let me transition manually. Jeez, jeez. Okay, well, I might have fixed it by checking off a box. But anyways, so there you go. There's a gold PS4 Slim coming out, maybe. Somebody at Target, I believe, leaked this image. And, it, okay, like, why would he fake, fake that if it's at Target, right? So I I don't have anything else to say about this except that. There you go. There's that picture. It's cool. It, the, I love the, the controllers that are gold. So why not get a matching uh, system? It would be nice if they also made a, a silver one because those silver controllers are also very nice i don't know if they release colors in the u.s I, this might be the first color hmm i don't remember i don't remember i really wish i would have gotten water and yeah water and ice before the show started but i didn't i didn't and this mic's not really mobile so all right uh, pokemon go developer niantic has told brazilian newspaper o globo that po P uh, uh, PVP battles and also trading. They also talked about trading later. And legendary Pokemons will come to the mobile ga game this summer. And th summer's right now-ish. I think the, the official first date of summer is what? June 22nd or 21st or something like that. Still technically spring. So it's going to come out in about 21 days or within a month, uh, three months after that, right? That's That's summer, so anywhere within that that game's been out for a long time i'm sure they've been working on it for forever and it's about time it's about time you can do more than just capture pokemon in that game right uh, i'm sure can't like you can fight against ais and uh the trainers and stuff right that's I, i'm not exactly sure uh because i've never really played pokemon go i played the, that first game from the end thick I, I forget what i always forget the name of it because it was such a long time ago but anyways uh, hey, that Xbox Game Pass is now live everywhere. That came out in the U.S. in early access, I believe, last week. But now it's out everywhere in Canada, uh, the U.K., I believe, as well. I think that was, like, the main places where it was coming out. Maybe not even all of the U.K. It might have just been, like, Europe and France. Or so. I don't even know. I don't even know what it is. I have no idea. But it's definitely out in Canada. And uh, Phil Spencer on Twitter said that early signups and the feedback of the Netflix style program have been strong. So take that at face value because that's an Xbox representative dude just talking about Xbox. And uh, of course, he's going to say that. What is he going to say? Ah, uh, you know, Xbox game pass is it's, it's pretty, it's pretty early and it's not looking good. Let's just end it right now. Just, we're done. Let's cut this interview. Cut, cut, kill all the servers. Uh, no, because that's the thing. It's not really, they're not really doing anything more except charging people $12 a month here in Canada, $10 in the US if you're wanting of 100 games for, for that price. And it's not games that you've already played. And why not? And if you pay for Xbox Live on top of that, that's what, uh, about, because it's 60 bucks, right? For Xbox Live, give or take, you're probably able, able to get it for cheaper than that. So it's pretty cheap. If you want to just get games and never get physical shit now, like on the Xbox, I, that's a, one of the things I think Xbox is doing better than the PS4 is is the backwards compatibility and, and getting everything to just work on that one system. And it's just you can all download it. And the PS4, the speeds have gotten better since the PS3 days, but it's still it could still be faster. I have I have pretty good internet and sometimes even it doesn't even max it out the PS4 download still which is is weird it sh it should be it should be able to do that nowadays but it's it's totally not uh, but yeah that's, that's that's it for that news item there a dude drops a Nintendo Switch from his drone at a thousand feet and the switch still worked it broke one of the uh, controllers the joy pads the the left one broke. But the right one was still working, and the the switch was still fully intact, and it worked fine. Crazy enough. There there are other videos where a dude dropped it from about eight ten feet, maybe maybe even a little less. Thought it was about that height, eight eight feet. Dropped it about five or six times, and it it stopped working. So it's not indestructible. Uh, there is a thermal velocity speed, so even you could drop it that baby from fucking 
two thousand feet, and it's probably still going to work. It's you know, it's it's not a huge surface area, so it it can only reach a certain speed. Uh, I guess I guess it would be faster than a human, but it's still it would have to be perfectly, you know, going straight down, and it will, it's not going to do that because it's not it's not aerodynamic that way, you know. It's just this is going to take all that fucking wind the whole way. Anyways, it, it worked fine. And I'm that's cool. I wonder I wonder if I need. I've just probably been people that have done that with iPads and stuff, right? Like, there's ha- there has to be. There's no way that that n- never happened. Uh, so Sony's E3 press conference, I think that's in like two weeks. I know, fuck, I should have looked up when E3 was, or is, I should say, because I, I have no idea. But anyways, it's being shown in 85 theaters everywhere around the world. I think this was US, Canada, and the UK. There might have been Australian theaters too showing it, but there's five in Canada. There's one in Calgary. There's one in Toronto. There's one in Montreal. There's one in Winnipeg. And there's another one. There's another city somewhere there that I'm totally forgetting. I it might have been nuts. I don't know if it was Vancouver. I don't think so. But I'm in Ottawa and I get screwed. I wish I was in Toronto. I, w- I would go watch that on a big screen because it's probably going to be like a good 60 frames. It's probably going to be like some satellite feed, right? That look just looks really good instead of being some stream on the internet. But, you know, s- some streams look really good. So I, it, it depends on what they want to do with their uh, encoders and all that. I would just beam out the best fucking shit quality you can because then everything just gets transcoded nowadays. Like, even on Twitch, Word Up, Word Up Twitch, we're getting transcoded now. So if you're watching on Twitch and your internet just craps out on you for some reason or you're worried about data caps... But blam, just sw- switch it down to 360 or whatever they have. I'm not sure what all the numbers are, but they do 720p. They like they re-encode our 720 for some reason. I don't know why they they do that. They do they do that. I don't know why they do that. But yeah, they they do do it. All right. Oh man, did I not get the? Oh man, I totally didn't get that picture of the the T-shirt. That's that's shit. I should maybe try to get it. Man, I'm not going to have time. I'm not going to have time. But anyways, so Ubisoft has a new logo. Uh, it's this one right here that I showed earlier. There you go. It's pretty much the same, except there's no blue color and uh, bolder outlines, I guess. And the Ubisoft is like a different font, I suppose. But it looks exactly the same. So there you go. That's that news item. Uh, I had another picture that I totally forgot to download for whatever reason. And it's a, it's a, a t-shirt showing off the new protagonist of Assassin's Creed. He's called Ba Yek. And the, the game is a, supposedly going to take place in Egypt. And the game is going to be called Origins is another thing that people have said lately. So this is all stuff that's getting leaked. Assassin's Creed. Uh, the game that always gets leaked out before they always reveal stuff. That's that's how it seems, how it goes for them. All right. Take Two has acquired developer Squad, and those are the guys behind Kerbal Space Program, which is a pretty cool game. It, that's the game where you're like those little, uh, I, I don't know if you, I want to call them like little monkeys, but they're, you know, they're little similar monkeys that are like in a space suit and you build a rocket for them. And uh, I wish I played that game, but I never did. It looks pretty cool, and you, you somehow get to the moon or something. You, you, that's at the point of the game, I suppose. Or I suppose you can even get further than the moon if you're really good at building rockets. I, I have no idea. I should. I, I I used to watch people play that game, and I, I really wanted to play it, but I never I never got into it. So there you go. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom had it. Uh, sorry, Mar- Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, the the latest one, had a, a leak of the roster. And I'm going to load up this web page here real quick for everybody to see. It looks uh, like a good, in, uh, an interesting roster. Uh, a lot of the stuff we already knew, uh, or you should expect, even if they didn't reveal it. But uh, X is in there, which is cool. He was in the last one. That's Mega Man X. Oh, get out of here, ads. Get out of here. I don't want to subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, Arthur, that's from uh, Ghosts and Ghouls or Ghosts and Goblins. Chris, that's I believe that's from Resident Evil. Chun Li, Street Fighter. Dante, that's that, you know that's self-explanatory. Devil may cry. Firebrand is also from uh, Go- Ghosts and Goblins. J- Jada, I have no idea who that is. Monster Hunter, that's just you know that's self-explanatory. Morgan is from 
Darkstalkers, Nemesis is Resident Evil right there. Uh, Ryu, you know, Ryu. Spencer, who is, Sp- I'm, might be Resident Evil. Strider Ryu, that's, you know, that's guy. That's that guy. And then Mega Man X. Then on the Marvel side, it's all from the, the movie stuff universe so there's no x-men in this game which we already knew but that's kind of sad it kind of sucks especially I, I liked wolverine a lot he was one of my go-to guys in this in the series but whatever what can you do ant-man captain america captain marvel doctor strange gamora hawkeye hulk iron man nova rocket slash groot uh we don't really know what that means yet uh, Spider-Man, Thanos, Thor, and Ultron. So yeah, we don't know if it's two characters, like the, the Rocket Group. We don't know if it's, uh, they're like two characters that are on the screen all the time. Or maybe you play as Rocket, which was, he was in the last game. And maybe Groot's just his helper buddy that comes in for moves and stuff. Who knows? So there you go. That's that's that. Oh, hey, we have our first video here. And that's it's, this is going to be fun because usually I have I have Steiner over here. Right, right over here on this side, but he, he he's not here today. So I guess I'm just gonna do this on the fly. Oh man, you know that sucks that when I lock stuff like that. There's a reason why I lock it, but when my co-host doesn't show up. So this is a Sonic video for the their latest game. Oh geez, it's weird how the volume just blasted like that because it was so quiet and it was at 20%. I only went to 40. It was like nearly quiet. This is the one, the Sonic Mania, that looks like the regular Sega uh, Master System or Genesis, whatever you want to call it, wherever you live. And it looks sweet. It looks like a classic Sonic game, which they've been trying to do for the longest goddamn time. And this is actually from one of the dudes that used to make a lot of fan-made games. And they he's helped really re- them re-release sonic cd on the phones he's helped them re-release i believe all the sonics that are on the phone is by this guy uh, i forget what his name is but i, I should know it because I-, I played a lot of his games uh even before he was officially a- a- an employee of, S- of sega but yeah this just looks like a regular ass sonic game and i guess that's that's what people want and it's coming out august 15th of this year that's in about two months from now so two two and a half ish so be on the lookout for that if that's your kind of thing uh, I'm, I'm curious about the pricing because they, they have not talked about that we might as well look at this vi- other video here it's the far cry 2 reveal trailer or far cry 2 far cry 5 far cry 5 this is five five there's already five of these games uh, well already the first and the t- second one kind of came out a long time ago and then three, four. Then there was Far Cry. In nope. Far. Wow. Oh shit. What was that game called? Predator. Nope. It, mm, I forget what it was called. But yeah. Hey, check this out. You that suffering is I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go get something real quick. Better path. We want you. We accept you. And we will take you, Hello, willingly or not. And some of you may fight, but in the end, you will thank us. I am your father, and you are my children. are saying that there's outrage for this game you know i think that there's a lot of stuff that is just generated online where maybe maybe that was uh ubisoft but just putting that out there hey there's christians getting mad out there about this game put it out there guys hey we're all we're all pissed that they're talking about our christian stuff there's what we've never had any uh cult 
roots that are Christian based. That's just craziness. What are you talking about? Uh, so this video is about uh, Nintendo filed the patent for Super Nintendo World, and it's going to be uh, an amusement park, I suppose, and it's in collaboration with uh, what's it called? Entire Nintendo World. Is it Universal? Universal has a lot of parks everywhere, so yeah, it could be Universal. It's definitely not Disney. That's, that's for damn sure. That'd be cool though, Disney Mario, but that's that's not gonna happen. D Disney's already gotten a, a bunch of shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure Nintendo is. Like, they're, they're, and Nintendo has a lot of money too, so I'm sure they're all good. Doing their separate thing. Uh, you know, they're bringing up that there's going to be Mario Kart, real life Mario Kart. It's like, ooh, cool, go-karts. I've never done that. I wonder what real life Mario Kart means, though. Like, can you pick up a shell and literally throw it at somebody and it just fucks up their goddamn cart? That'd be pretty cool, but I doubt that's going to happen, right? That's all I got for videos this week. All right. Take t oh, I talked about that. I talked about that. I, I skipped something, I believe. Oh, hey, there's a new Prey update that makes it work with the PS4 Pro. Cool. Teen Titans, Powerpuff Girls, and Beetlejuice expansions got announced for LEGO Dimensions. They've been announcing stuff for that game for a long time. It seems like that game is like 10 years old now. It's probably not. It's probably not. It just, it just seems that way because there's been a LEGO games aplenty. But I think this is the one where you buy the physical things, right? And then you put it on like a portal and then it gets in the game. I'm pretty sure it's that one. I could be totally wrong. Oh man, now my mouth is like, it's like too uh, hydrated. It's like too much. All right. But I'm, I'm glad I got water. <laughs> Need for Speed. They posted a image on Twitter. It was a image of Seattle. Behind a, a cloudy, cloudy, cloudy day. So take that for what it is. It's probably going to be in Seattle the next Need for Speed, if you had to guess, right? So there you go. Earlier this year, retailer Gamefly posted a product page for a standalone version of Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare Remaster. And now Amazon has done its own thing, po posted a page with a release date of June 20th. Uh, for the PS4, and then July 20th for the Xbox One, and then PC, eh, nothing, nothing for that. So yeah, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, that was a good-ass game, but the COD 4, one of the best Call of Duties of all time, uh, one of the best fucking first-person shooter games of all time, if I would say so myself. It's up, you know, it's, when you, go, you when you progress, you know, it's like Wolfenstein, Doom, Quake, and then, you know, there was Unreal in there, and then there's a bunch of other games too, but, you you know, people will remember a bunch of shit, uh, but yeah, uh, freaking Call of Duty 4, that's, that's, that's like one of the Xbox 360 games that everybody had, that's for damn sure, and everybody played that game. And, you know, a remaster or whatever. I'm not too interested. But if, let's say, it comes out and it's like 25 bucks, uh, it's not, not a terrible deal. That's the thing. Games are just goddamn expensive now. So, if they hit that sweet spot with the pricing, I could see a lot of people jumping on the, the standalone version of this game. But I, I, how many people have not bought Infinite Warfare that wanted this? That's That's the real question. Because I bet whoever wanted to actually play this just probably bet, eh, I'll buy Infinite Warfare or whatever the hell the new one's called and just played played this mostly. And they were like, ah, Infinite Warfare is okay too. So after more than 80 million systems sold worldwide, the PS4 console shipments have come to an end in Sony's home country of Japan. I want to say that it stopped in the US already. I could be totally wrong about that. I sh That's something I should have looked up, but I did not. B busy day. Busy day. I, I did a lot of stuff, but uh, this was announced via a notice post posted on Japanese PlayStation website, translated by Gamatsu, and it pertains to the 500 gigabyte PlayStation 3 model, which was the only one that was still being produced. So there you go. It's done. No more PS3s. No more new PS3s. Anyways, you're gonna have to go buy them secondhand, which I'm sure sure you're gonna find them. No problem. There's a bazillion of those everywhere 
it's just like the Xbox 360. It's just that they just have a bazillion. Just go go somewhere. So somebody will sell you one of those things if you really want one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ute Saito, the creator of Seaman, that was the Dreamcast game where you spoke to it and it was like a fish dude that kind of evolved and became a frog thing. And I don't know how far it went because I never played it and it seemed like one of those things that was just crazy. And it, it was. And I, I, I guess it never really was it like a true game. It was like uh, Leonard Nimoy just talking to you and you were he was like learning your... I don't even know. It's just a weird little thing that is hard to describe. And I still think to this day, you still can't describe it. It's just, you can go look at it on YouTube and you're still like, oh, huh. And then this thing evolves. All right, cool, cool. And you, you mean it, t- it takes like three months? Huh. And I have to talk to it like almost every day. Sweet, cool stuff. And then the last news item here, Square Enix's a Final Fantasy VII remake. Remake. Sorry, is that still going to come out? It's still moving forward, uh, but they were working with this developer. It's the guys that were making all the the uh, Naruto games. Uh, man, it's weird that this article didn't list it, but I, I yeah, I forget I forget what their name is. But they were working alongside Square Enix to make this game, and then they just said, "Eh, nah, we're not going to work with these guys anymore, and we're just going to make it in house." So. Yeah, Square Enix, man. They're a Japanese developer. They do a bunch of weird stuff. They're letting go of IO Interactive. And uh, that Hitman game was doing pretty okay from what I understand. Like, it wasn't blowing minds. But I think they just have such high expectations for everything. It's like that uh, Tomb Raider game, right? Uh, That Tomb Raider game sold through the goddamn roof. And they were just like, ah, it's underperformed. Okay. okay. But, like, I I guess. But you put... uh, the thing is, I guess they put a lot of money in like the advertisement and the development of that game, so they probably did maybe make a little less than they wanted to. But uh, yeah, I I don't know how you, you got to find that sweet spot of the money, right? You can't just be spending all of it, and that's that's what they seem to be doing with a lot of the the projects. It's just like throw money at it. That's what it seemed like they were doing with the the first Resident uh, Tomb Raider. I almost said Resident Evil. No, the first Tomb Raider. They're they're one in the same, and they came on the PS one. To be fair, Lara Croft was like fully 3D, which is maybe why it was terrible at the time. They both had tank controls. They both controlled pretty bad. It's not like one was any better than the other one. All right. So, yeah, like I said, you can still Skype us here. Uh, I, I don't know what else to talk about. You know what? I, I only looked at the news within the last, I would say, 12 hours. I have not looked at the news since I've been at work. So let's let's take a look and see if anything happened today. I, I don't really think so. Well, Ubisoft teased a new IP. So, you know, E3 stuff is happening. That's in two weeks. So, yeah. All right. Uh, I talk about Hitman and IO. I, I guess Square Enix is saying that when they might be selling them they're gonna probably just give them hitman that seems like what's going on uh, right now hey need for speed reveal confirmed for tomorrow so they're doing it before e3 i suppose but there you go if you're into need for speed you can wake up at 9 a.m eastern time 6 a.m pacific time to watch some need for speed news weird what i guess this is in europe somewhere because it, it, it includes british standard time 2 p.m so i guess it's in uh europe i guess that makes sense it's need for speed all right <laughs> let's see is there anything else that happened today not really you know e3 is coming in right around the corner and that's really in, like the gist of the the news lately is hey be aware that these guys are going to be at E3. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, they're there all the time. Like, why would we... Hey, guess what? Rockstar is probably not going to show Red Dead Redemption. Oh, um, what? It's fucking mind-blown. Yeah, of course they're not going to be there. They're, Rockstar is never fucking there. It would it would be mind-blowing if they showed up. That'd be fucking crazy. It's like, hey, we got a booth this year. It's fucking Red Dead Redemption. It's coming out in a month. Fuck y'all. We only delayed this by two months or whatever the hell. Uh, well, spring just ended. Oh, no, spring is about to end, so it's not. Spring's not even done yet. 
So if they if they did that, they they were like, oh, it's coming out next week. It would still technically be spring. They already delayed it though, so that's not gonna happen. Uh, and that's about it for the news. Mm, yeah, up next we're gonna be talking about some MMA and some wrestling on Sprawl and Brawl. But that does it for Fresh Air is overrated. It's a little short episode. You know, that's what happens when I'm all by myself. Uh, the news wasn't all uh, that plentiful this week. The thing is, like I said, E3 is in about a, uh, two or three weeks, so they're not going to do anything, you know? They they know. They know. They know where to release the news, and that's in two weeks from now when E3 is happening. So that's going to be a fun time. Uh, I, th- that's always a good good time to just sit down and watch a bunch of games being played that are not released yet so if you're into that sort of thing when is when is e3 i'm just gonna look it up and then uh, we'll, we'll end it on that uh e3 2017 there's a lot of stuff that begins before e3 this year like a lot of stuff but hey there you go e3 is june 13th through the 15th uh that's i think that's tuesday through thursday yeah and then the Monday and then the Sunday, there's a lot of stuff. Maybe even Saturday. I want to say Saturday and maybe even Friday, there's stuff. Because there's a lot of stuff going on before. I want to say EA has a like a full three-day thing before E3, before real E3 that's like open to the public. Uh, I think they did that last year, too. Where they, were, they were just like, ah, we're not going to be at E3. We're just at this little thing that's close to E3. So everybody can come. Cool. Rock on. I guess we're going to hear about the Scorpio a lot at E3 because, you know, they talked about that last year vaguely. They didn't really say anything about it, but yeah, I'm looking forward to E3. So like I said, Sprawl and Brawl, tune in to that if you're watching live. It's going to happen right after this. And if not, you can go find that on iTunes as well. Just like Fresh Air is overrated. That was episode number 231, I believe. What happened? What happened to all my, what happened to all my windows? Why did all my windows disappear? God dang! I hate when I hate when it does that sometimes. My mouse sometimes clicks the, clicks the middle button for no no apparent reason. It just wants to. So I guess I clicked the middle button and it just closed that window that I desperately needed. Hey, it's two thirty-two. Man, I was off by one. I was off by one. All right, we're here every Thursday on our Twitch channel, our YouTube, we're on uh, Mixer, we're on Smashcast, and we're on Ustream. It's all Mega Scorcher TV, all of them. So if you ever have a problem on Twitch, you can go to YouTube. If YouTube is not your thing, you can go on Smashcast. If you like Mixer, because, you know, Mixer's all right, too. You can go test that out. And then Ustream is just Ustream. It's been there forever, so that's why I just use it. Why not, right? It's just there. <laughs> So go check out our website, 2 Uh Don't go anywhere. Wrestling and MMA talk coming up. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned. See ya.